I've never experienced a rush like it. Standing my ground as a giant grizzly bear threatened to charge. And I'll admit, for a few heart-stopping moments in the Canadian wilderness, I didn't think I'd make it home to tell this story. But the man I was with has a way with grizzlies, even very cranky ones. His name is Doug Zeus. And you would have seen some of his work on Hollywood's biggest films. Doug is a bear trainer and conservationist. In my case, he was also a bit of a lifesaver. The grizzly bear is one of the fastest, smartest and potentially deadliest animals on the planet. How you feel? <laughs> You feel it all right? Oh, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then they stand up. Oh, wow. Now, what do you think? He is talk. magnificent. How big is he? He's uh, about nine feet tall. He's a really big animal. Yeah, he's uh, large. Yeah. He's the big, you know, biggest predator on the land. You love him, don't you? Oh, I love him. Are you yeah. kidding me? But the love Doug Zeus has for Bart the bear is like no other. Now see, the point is everything's positive. Everything, the reinforcement isn't necessary. for. 70-year-old uh, Doug is an animal trainer oh. who literally throws Whoa. his body into his Whoa. work. Everything's positive. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Need a hand there, Doug? <laughs> He's good. What I'm trying to say is the reinforcement, the paycheck are emotional, not food. As foolhardy as this looks, things couldn't be more normal for this one-time construction worker turned bear whisperer. Easy. Uh-uh. So who's in control, him or you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in control. I'm always in control. <laughs> See, he's always pushing the envelope. So you can look into their eyes and understand them. Oh, yeah. Or the combination of eyes, body, muscle tensions. Bart, off. Good. And it's absolutely huh? necessary with a big predator anyway, working with them to hold sway, but to hold sway with uh, uh, an honesty and give them dignity. Lower. Wide, wide. Close your mouth. It's easy to see why Hollywood regards Doug as the best grizzly trainer in the world. Oh. God! He's been doing it for nearly wide. four decades on this beautiful property in Utah that he shares with his wife, Lynn. What are you doing, Dick? She, like Doug, loves and cares for the bears, but doesn't go to these extremes in showing it. <laughs> Bart could crush Doug's skull like a pretzel, but doesn't. Did you notice how really gentle mm. Bart is? I mean, those humongous claws just go like, just that gentle, just mm. like... Not like this. No, mm. like this. He's playing. And, I mean, look, he was rolling around with him. Look at that face. Look how cute he is. No blood, scars, things oozing <laughs> out. <laughs> Doug and Lynn's grisly adventure began in the 70s when they decided raising three kids wasn't enough. So they took on a bear cub. Tell me about the original Bart. How did you get him? Well, I, he was a um, unplanned pregnancy <laughs> to some uh, mother zoo bear. And so he was available. He just uh, needed a home, and we... We're enamored with... Yeah. We, we do a lot of uh, hiking and enamored with the outdoors and the bush. And so the bear being uh, the, the epitome of wilderness, mm -hmm. the epitome of, of, of true outdoors, you know. Doug and Bart formed an incredible bond, closer than ever thought possible between man and grizzly. Bart, <laughs> okay. What was it about him that was so special? Wild. A bit like you, Doug. Yeah, one had two legs, one had four, and that was about the only difference.
It wasn't long before Hollywood came calling. Bart made his acting debut at two and a half. And went on to star in blockbusters like Legends of the Fall, The Edge and The Bear. Several directors have called him the John Wayne of bears. And high praise, isn't it? Yeah. Here are the greatest animal actors in motion picture history. He was so good that when the film business officially recognized the contribution of animals at the 1998 Oscars, Bart was just the bear for the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of 11 motion pictures, including Clan of the Cave Bear, Legends of the Fall, and most recently, The Edge, Bart the Bear. But it wasn't long after this triumph that tragedy struck. Bart was diagnosed with cancer, and Doug and Lynn threw everything at the battle to save him. He hung on for a year and a half, and when, I um, hope I can say this, when we knew it was time to help him go, we made a call to the vet and said, you know, it's time. It's the last kind thing we can do for him. And so, a duck and I were heartbroken. Tell me about those last few hours. He told thought. me what he wanted. He looked at me and say goodbye. Pretty intense. But right at this darkest time, the phone rang. It was the Alaskan Fish and Game Department asking if the Seusses would take two grizzly cubs orphaned after their mother had been shot. This is Honey. They named she's them the Honey Bump. <laughs> I guess she's not camera shy. That's a and little Bart. <laughs> We're not camera shy either. And as nature took its course, he grew to become Bart the Second, another film star. Oh, oh, you what? Yes, you want attention. Oh, you're. How about yoga? Good yoga. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, good boy. I love you. You're so But there's a lot more to Doug Zeus than just teaching his bears to do tricks for Hollywood. Uh -uh. For him, the big picture is saving the grizzlies' natural habitat. These majestic creatures once roamed freely from Mexico all the way north to Alaska. But now you have to go to extremes, to places like Night Inlet here in Canada, to see grizzly bears in the wild. Oh, we've got some over. Well, the grizzly walks, the earth is whole and intact. And to see bears in the wild like this, I mean, can anything top it? Not for me. <laughs> How about for you? I don't think anything could top this. Of course, life in the wild is often brutal, but the battle for supremacy isn't their only fight. The biggest problem to contend with is their shrinking domain. And that's where the Zeus's come back into the fray. When the first Bart was still alive and working, they started vital ground. Doug and Lynn used the proceeds from Hollywood to buy back their country. It just had to be that his life mattered for something more than movies. And that's when one day Doug and I looked at each other and said, well, let's take that retirement fund, buy a ranch and give it back to the grizzly bears. And did, and that was the start of Vital Ground. It started with 240 acres. It's now over 650,000. Put away well of course not just for the bear mind you for all things wild so and 
that was Bart's legacy. And thanks in part to this work, grizzly numbers are slowly making a comeback in North America, putting the wild back into the wilderness. Okay, see, see look at him. Oh. Now. Is there a difference in his presence than hers? There's a very, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Gosh, he's big, isn't he? We've yeah, come across yeah. a male sure. and female grizzly down by the river. And it doesn't take long before the male indicates he isn't happy with our presence. Oh, oh, no, stay shit. here. Stay here. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm OK. Huh? That's okay. very good. You did. Don't run. Sorry. He was making a false charge. No, no, don't don't worry running, about it. Running. Don't running. worry about it. That was just a bluff charge, see? That was a bluff charge. <laughs> That's the magic. That's what their country is all about. Yes! I love it. Huh? <laughs> Even though you've been telling me for days on end that if a bear charges you, the last thing you do is run, if you hadn't grabbed my jacket, I'm pretty really sure I'm just yeah, heading in the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instinct. You knocked me off my feet. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love you. Give me a hug. <laughs> Thanks for keeping me safe. Okay, mate. <laughs> Spending time with Doug Zeus is definitely an adrenaline rush. There's never a dull moment. And that's just the way he and his bears like it. Good boy, bud. Oh, happy bear. Happy bear. Happy bear. Good boy. Happy bear. Happy bear. Good. Happy bear. Good boy. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>